Hi everyone, welcome back to another day of camp. Today we are going to be making craft tennis rackets. Now for this craft, the things you need is your thick cardstock paper and yarn, which you both get in the kit. You'll need markers, scissors, and if you have one, a hole punch. If not, the scissors will work just fine. So the first thing you are going to do is you are going to trace a design for a tennis racket. Now, if you don't know what a tennis racket looks like or you need help, you can use the design located on the back of your worksheet to help you out. So I'm just going to get started and draw out that tennis racket design. So I started with a circle Once your tennis racket design is drawn out, you are going to take your scissors and cut it out. Now, in order to cut the hole in the middle of the tennis racket, what I like to do is fold the piece of paper in half and cut the circle almost like we're cutting a heart out of a piece of paper like this and there you have it our own little tennis racket now the next thing you are going to do is you're going to take your hole punch and you are going to make some holes along the side of the tennis racket so i'm doing three holes on each side Then you are going to take the yarn that you get. Now it is a little long, so we're gonna have to cut it. And you're gonna take a big long piece. You're gonna cut it. You're gonna take one end and one hole on your tennis racket and you're gonna loop it through and tie it. Sometimes you might have to double knot it if it doesn't stay. Again, ask a parent or a sibling for help if you need help. So this is what it should look like right now. You have your rope tied to one end and what we are going to do is we are going to loop it through the second hole. Once again, tying it. So it looks like this. And then you are gonna repeat that step for the rest of your holes on the side. I'll catch you in a bit. Once you are done, it should look something like this. And next we are going to do the same thing, but we are going to hole punch holes to the top and to the bottom. That way we get that crisscross pattern. And once we are done that, you're going to add some yarn pieces through the holes, just like we did for the sides. And there you have it, your very own tennis racket. Now feel free to decorate with your markers and crayons and don't forget to send your creations to efacca at nhsm.ca so your creation can be featured on our social media. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys!